Hello, I am Yael Bat Yisrael, and I am here today with the wonderful Imelda Cox. And Miss Cox is a midwife who practiced in Grenada. Yeah. And today I wanted to ask her some questions about her practice and just get some more information, especially for the black women today who are really trying to reclaim our birthrights and go back to those healthy healing practices that kept us safe over the years. All right, so I've already said your name. So can I ask you how old you are now? Well, um, 86 years old. Wow. That is good. Birthday is nine twenty one thirty two. Hmm. Okay. Wow. That's that's a long time. I'm <laughs> thankful for your life. Um. When and why did you become a midwife? As a regular nurse back in the islands, after you finish your general nursing, you go on to the midwifery because you had to do midwifery in the homes of the people. Not all patients came to the hospital. Mm. And it was very, very good going to the homes and delivering the people and seeing the babies and the mothers could stay in their house and take care of their other children. Yes, that's right. I had a home birth. Yes. And actually, even though you were not the midwife who attended to me, you helped me in my postpartum because you were the one who sold my belly bind for me. I don't know if you even remember that. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and my daughter will be nine in March. So, with the will of God. So, yeah, um, you know, your work has spread even beyond the people that you dealt with face to face, Before, you know? Yeah. So, were there other midwives in your family? No, none of them were nurses at that time. Okay, mm -hmm. so you were the first one. Yes. Um, were there any other midwives who were role models for you as a girl? Well, to tell you the truth, the best teacher I had that helped me to get on to the midwifery certificate is my friend Maggie Bullen Nicholson. She was my teacher, and she got me my midwifery certificate in three years instead of four years. Wow. That's that's a pretty big accomplishment, a whole extra... A whole year. A whole year advance. early? Wow. And I only worked in the maternity ward for nine weeks and came third in my exam. <laughs> Now that is that is a, quite a status. Only nine weeks and you came nine third. Nine wow. weeks and I got my certificate. Oh my goodness! What was your course of study to prepare to become a midwife? Well, um, you had to do certain lectures. So Miss Klein was our instructor. But I, being the floating nurse was in all different areas and did not have time to get all the preparation that the other nurses had. Mm -hmm. But when the time came for the exam, I told Miss Klein, I am going to do the paper. I did the paper and I passed everything. Oh, wow. Thank God. Uh, where did you receive your training? In Grenada Colony Hospital. Grenada Colony Hospital. And what area in Grenada is that? St. George's. In St. George's. Okay. How long? So you said it took three years, right? Yeah. And the credential you received was what? What was it called? Well, you got your general nursing certificate mm -hmm. and your midwifery certificate. Okay. Which I started in 1949 and I was completed in 1952. Mm. And how many births have you attended as a midwife? Ooh. Well, I have here from 1953, I had 28 cases. In 1954, I had 70 cases. 
1955, I had 112 cases. In 1956, I had 69 cases. Um, in one year, I had 148 cases. In another time, from September to December, I had 111 cases. So, I'll have to sit down and add and subtract. Okay. There's a lot of babies. <laughs> and how many years did you work as a midwife in Grenada? Over how many years? From um, when to when? Let's see, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. About, I left Grenada in um, 62. Okay. So from 1952 to 1962. Okay, so 10 years. I've been do yes, I've been doing the, yeah. All right, so you mentioned Maybe. that you left Grenada in 1962. Mm -hmm. And where did you immigrate to at that point? I came here to the hospital in the Bronx, Misericordia Hospital in the Bronx. Say the name again? Misericordia Hospital okay, and you, in the Bronx. And you came to New York to came to New York. And, yes, and I worked in the Bronx for a while, and then I came to Brooklyn. And when you were in Brooklyn, what hospital did you work at? Well, most of the time, I was doing private duty. Okay. Due to the fact that I had to take care of my children, I wasn't able to take a steady job, mm -hmm. so I've been doing um, a lot of private, private duty. Now, in New York, were you also a midwife? Did you continue your midwifery practice? No, I went into geriatrics. Wow, that was a big change. I started taking care of elderly people and, you know, into the nursing homes and so on and so on. Was there any reason why you didn't continue with labor and delivery? Um, I tried, but I would have to go to Manhattan, and I couldn't leave the children to go all the way in Manhattan to work. Okay. Because there was a hospital in Manhattan where I would have continued my maternity, but I couldn't take the steady job. Okay. I understand that. Having young children sometimes, yes, I you know. I couldn't manage because so many, six of them, mm. and then... You know, to leave this one and leave that one, I just stayed in Brooklyn. How many girls and how many boys? Well, all six? girls. Oh, all girls. Six girls. Six girls, wow. Six girls in Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> six six girls, girls in Flatbush. Okay, yeah. wow. That is a challenge, right? Mm hmm Okay. Um, speaking of challenges, what was the most challenging birth that you attended? Well, like it was one lady, she was having twins, mm -hmm. and I tried to convince her to go to the hospital, and she definitely refused. <laughs> okay. And I end up having twins, a footling presentation, <laughs> and a face the pubes presentation. Okay, so face the pubes. The term that they use now yeah. is OP, right. right? Which means that the baby is sunny side right. up instead of his head being face down. That's right. Head is face up. Yeah. And then foot limb breach is a baby with the coming breach. out yeah. feet first. The feet first and the head after. And the head after. So two very challenging mm -hmm. yeah. presentations and a twin birth at that. And this was at home. At home. Wow. And everything went on very well because she refused to go to the hospital. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, what kind of postpartum follow-up did you provide for your clients? Well, after the person have the baby, mm -hmm. you attend to them for nine consecutive days. Okay. You check on them every day for nine days. And if there is no problem, you ch ask them to come to the clinic. And they come to the clinic and you check them and you know, and make sure that everything is all right. They bring the baby, you check the baby and make sure everything is okay. Okay.